Chapter 17 The first three torturous nights of the evildoers and the meeting of their faith, the lean-hipped old hag. I came back again to the Chinvat Bridge, and I saw a soul of those who were wicked, when in those first three nights so much harm and evil were shown to their souls, as never such suffering was seen by them in the living world. And I inquired of Sarush the pious, and Azad the angel, Whose soul is this? Sarush the pious, and Azad the angel said, This is soul of the wicked, wandering in the void where the wicked has died, over the place where the life went forth. Then the soul stood on his head and uttered the words from Gathas. Creator hormost, to which land do I go? And what do I take as a refuge? But then, a stinking cold wind comes to meet him from the northern quarter, from the quarter of the demons. A more reeking wind than he had ever sensed as he was alive. And in that wind, he saw his own religion and deeds as a debauched woman, naked, decayed, gaping, bandy-legged, <laughs> lean-hipped, and ultimately spotted so that the spots were joined to spots, like the most hideous, noxious creature, most filthy and most rotten. Then the wicked soul spoke thus, Who art thou? that I never have seen any one of the creatures of her most norahri man, ever so ugly, ever so filthy, or ever so smelly than you. To him, she spoke thus. Who am I? <laughs> filthy? Disgusting? Why, I am thy bad actions. O oh, youth of evil thoughts, of evil words, of evil deeds, of evil religion. It is on account of thy will and actions that I am hideous and vile, wicked and diseased, rotten and foul-smelling, unfortunate and distressed, as appears to thee. When thou sawest anyone who performed the yajish and throne ceremonies, <laughs> and praised, and prayed, and served God, <coughs> and preserved, and protected water and fire, and watched over the kettle and trees, and other good creations, thou practiced the will of Ahriman, and the demons, and evil actions. And when thou sawest one who provided hospitable reception and gave us something deservedly in gifts and charity to those travelers who came from afar and those who were from near, <laughs> thou wast greedy and shuttest up thy door. As she spoke, a northern wind blew and the last yellow leaf fell from the branch of a dead tree, and the owl who was sitting on a branch flew off. The snake bowed to her, and the lizard bounced off from her cane and ran toward the evil soul. All this time, Azar the angel sat there, covering his face. And though I have been unholy... <laughs> I am made more unholy through thee. <laughs> and though I have been frightful, I am made more frightful through thee. Though I have been naughty, oh, oh, oh baby, baby, I am made naughtier through thee. Though I am settled in the northern quarter, <laughs> <coughs> I am settled farther north through thee. I 
am complete through those evil thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And through those evil words. <laughs> and through those evil deeds which thou practiced. I am created from your sinful communion with the obscenity and wicked relationship of evil spirits. Ooh, another booger. What a taste. Yum. Around this time, the soul of the wicked advanced the first footsteps on evil thoughts, and the second footstep on evil words, and the third on evil deeds, and with the fourth, he would fall right into hell. <laughs>